Hey, what's up, guys? You are watching Way of BJJ. This is Minju, and I'm Tuna. So we are both jujitsu players, and we love to explore different combos because the game of jujitsu is about an action and a reaction. Yes. Right? So the best way to get better at the game is to do different combinations that you are so uh, ingrained into your muscle memory that when you are in the heat of battle, you can actually do it. So we like to go around and then ask people to show us their combos. Yeah. And for this episode, we decided to go to my gym at Titan Training Center, 10 Planet Vancouver. I walked up to my teammates and I just asked them if they can show me how they would go from bottom side control to any choke that they wanted, either guillotine or dars or RNC. So obviously they're gonna have to probably regard, get a sweep and get the submission. Or if they're tricky, they can somehow get the submission from bottom side control. So I'm excited to see what kind of uh, combos they'll, they'll be turning up. And so. don't forget to like and subscribe. So Rachel is a white belt, she started from bottom side, she re-guarded and did a butterfly sweep and she's on mount and finished the guillotine. Very simple. Yeah, simple is good. I mean, it's a, you can tell it's something that's really effective that she actually does a lot. Yeah. yeah. That's why it's really smooth for her. As soon as she gets the butterfly sweep, she exposes that uh, that neck, right? He, how he lifts that shoulder off yeah. the ground. She gets a high mount and yeah. then traps that, and she's able to lock that neck in. Mm -hmm. Good powerful bridge, so she has space. Butterfly, perfect. There we go. And I guess she likes to roll on her back. That yeah, very strong that's probably point. stronger. Yeah, you see how Jordan's coughing? That's how, yeah. that's how you know the, uh, the choke is really strong, right? It works. Good job, good job, Rachel. So up next, we got Jazz. Jazz is a white belt. He's um, been training with us for two years. Very, very good white belt, actually. Yes. He likes to, to attack the back. It seems the limp arm right to the back. Finish with R and C. Yeah. For this one, I actually asked him if um, since he's in dogfight, I asked him, can you do a power kegger? And he's, he's drilled it, obviously. Watch. Bam. And that's a triangle. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. But he says he never landed it. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's, uh, I've got a cold bullshit on that. Yeah. <laughs> Look well, at how smooth that is. Or maybe he does it once, he'll, he'll probably realize he can land it lots. I know. He'll be like, I, I have to add this to my highlight reel. Yeah. So good. He bridges. Dogfight. From dogfight, he gets lip arm. It feeds his arms. He gets the back. And just finishes it with a nice, tight nice. RNC. Very nice. Super tight, super tight. His arm wrap all the way around that neck. So deep. Again. Bridges. Yes, dog fight. So for the power kicker, he's going to bring his left feet on the waist. And then just jump. Taking the right feet and then cross his uh, body around his neck. And landing down. Yeah, very nice. My name is Severio. Next is the I've future. I've been training nine years. And the move I just did was getting to lockdown from the side control, doing the electric chair sweep, and then coming up to finish with North South Choke. You know, there are so many young phenoms nowadays. You, you see people in their that, that, that's like 16, 17, 18 winning at the highest level. Yeah, yeah, and that's because they all started like <laughs> at, at that age. age. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's been training like eight years or like like nine years, like almost as long as I have been training. <laughs> wow, and he's only like what? He's only like what, ten years old, something like think, that. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, let's talk about the move. Let's talk about the combo. So from there, Severe's gonna like um, trip a little bit, use his left leg to hook it on his legs so he can get locked down. Then he gets a double underhook and gets an electric chair. Classic electric chair sweep. And cradle passes. Oh nice. I, li I like how he gets just bypasses sound. all the uh, all the strength of the opponent and, yeah. and go right for the neck. He's actually really good at that. It's, it's hard to do it like proper technique with his dad um, because it's you know, size wise yeah, right twice his size, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but uh, he's good at getting the electric chair sweep it's just he just can't use it in a tournament or against other kids or an electric chair submission because it's illegal for 
for kids, which is only fair. Yeah. Uh, yes. If you want to raise a really soft, you know, next generation and really completely fuck up the yeah. society, that's how you do it. He looks for kindergartens. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what we should do. <laughs> nice. Well done. Well done. Uh, my name's Trevor. I'm a blue belt at 10th Planet Vancouver. I've been training for about three years. And um, what did you do? Oh, uh, so I'm so jealous of this guy. He's only been um, training for three years. Control, just Maybe I'm so frames, confident to choose his gun. Establish my butterfly guard. Just Use try. My yeah. To get the, the a shoulder crunch the position in the butterfly. Yeah. <laughs> off balancing with my far leg. Shooting the package. triangle. And then adjusting uh, well, to get the he, finish. He needs the only fans page. Then. Yeah. <laughs> I keep telling him. <laughs> I'll edit it for him. Oh, nice. I like that. Very nice triangle. So sweet. So he's starting from... Again, bottom side, just basic regard, but it's controlling the shoulder, and then you know going for making it look going for a straight arm bar nice. or a sweep, but just gets a triangle from there. Yeah, very nice. The uh, the shoulder the shoulder crunch control yeah. breaks the posture, and then he also pushes the base of the other person backwards, so the uh, the other guy almost falls right into the uh, the triangle. Perfect. I wouldn't even suspect a triangle from there. Yeah, you'll be so worried about the, yeah, the arm bar, potentially, yeah. right? Or getting swept, or too. Getting swept, yeah. Which is good finish. Mm -hmm. oh, look at that, so cool chewing his gum, too. Yeah. Damn planet. <laughs> Go. Jordan over here. Okay, nice. So, what Jordan did is he, from the bottom, he regarded. I uh, got to dogfight, but instead of doing the limp arm like Jazz, he just went for an aggressive, super flying guillotine. Oh, there you go. By the way, guys, um, Jordan and uh, Rachel are a couple, so if we have some females, uh, or if we have some females joining uh, Time MMA, we're usually pretty, we're like, going easy with them if they're starting out it's just a Jordan and Rachel they, they have a relationship and they yeah, really yeah. like to go harder yeah. Yeah, they know, fight they each, know other. each other they know each other yeah. okay so we have Justin at bottom side control mm -hmm. and what Justin is doing here is the buggy choke it's actually a I choke straight from side control. Oh, wow, so he doesn't even bother escaping. That. No, no, no transition. <laughs> and it's invented by a white belt. But, oh, wow. but that's not what he wanted to show. That's just like he's gonna show that first. What he's showing is like a failed buggy choke to a triangle choke. Like that was wow. beautiful. Because a lot of people are growing wise to the to the buggy choke now. Yeah. But instead of giving up that position, he just like progress with it, which is what I think is what a good jujitsu is, right? Yeah, yeah, I like that. That's that's dope. Instead of like, oh, it fails, he gives it up. No, nope, he's going to keep the position. He just can't finish it. And he's going to progress to a triangle. Wow, that's beauty, yeah, And that's a, that's a super tight triangle, too, because you got you got that arm in there to, uh, you know, so there's there's no space, pretty much. Yeah. got to be super tight. Excellent. One more time, he's got the buggy choke. Yeah. And, and, the buggy, and the buggy choke, even though it's invented by a white belt, but it has been working at the highest level of competition. Yeah. yeah. And that's the crazy part. Yeah, I guess sometimes it takes a white belt to not have any preconceived notions of what's right and what's wrong and just and just and just mm. invent go for it, yeah. Right? Because if a black belt would be like this would never work. He wouldn't even try it. Against Justin right? actually, um I would play I would play a little bit different. I would um I can't play too tight on him. Once my chest is close to his chest, he's gonna bring his feet up and, and lock that right away. So um if you know someone who has another weapon, it totally changes your game. So even that, like that, uh, he's got an advantage already, yeah. right? And then and and an automatic um, death trap. Like he's got me with the buggy choke so many times. I just didn't respect it for one second, and I'm done. <laughs> I hate him. Yeah. It's so cheap, <laughs> but it's so good. Um, so up next we have Nabil. So Nabil is gonna go from. Uh, Nabil, by the way, if anyone's wondering, um, my nickname for him is Sensei because 
He's my sensei. Yeah, he is sensei. Yeah. He, that's not even a nickname. Yeah, yeah. Man. Come on. Well, no, no. He never really asked me to call him sensei. <laughs> it's just like I watch a lot of anime, and I'm just like, oh, I want to have a sensei. Okay, you're my sensei. Yeah. I think it's pretty coach. Whether you like it or not, yeah. you're a sensei. Now. But he's been sensei for like as long as I've been training, like 12 years. So I guess it's like it's more of a nickname than he is a sensei. But anyways, we have sensei. So sensei starting from the bottom side. And I think he's doing the ghost here, which is another way. It's, it's another uh, instant finish, right? Right, now. right. So right from uh, a bad position to a finish. Yeah, it's uh, dope. So we go. Yeah, so start from. Yeah, so he doesn't. He doesn't just finish from there. He actually rolls the opponent, so he can lock it in even tighter. So he uses the left hand to control the neck. The right hand to create great space. Yeah. And Takes his right hand to the other side of the hip. Yeah. That's how you. That's how and you know Nabil's got a crazy squeeze. He doesn't even have to step over the bottom. The yeah. guy is already tapping. <laughs> right? Because usually once you get there to tighten it up, you would step over the body, right? Yeah. But he doesn't have to. It's tight. <laughs> and this is just another basic team. This guy gets me like at least once every roll. Just from bottom uh, side control, he just regarded basic yeah. regard. Yeah. But Butterfly, and then look, uh, look how he sucks the head in. His left hand just grabs your head and it just sucks it into his right armpit. So quick, watch like. Yeah. So I guess it's one of those that you know is coming, but but he still gets it. Yeah. It's just one of his things. Yeah, and once he gets the high uh, high elbow guillotine, then it's game. It's game. Yeah, game. You better tap fast. Oh, you got me next. Oh, hey, that's the uh, jailbreak. Right into a go go clinch. That's actually I do that a lot. Nice. And the other one is like um. I just wanted to get to spiderweb, so from close guard, what I chose was just a lot of sweep. And from spiderweb, I'm usually too lazy to break the armbar, so I, I go for I, I go for an X guard, but then or an X break. But when I have the X break, I just start to try and just go for a mountain triangle. So I got regard, and then I just need to get him to spiderweb. What I can think of from the close guard is just like a lot of sweep. Once I'm in a spider sweep. I don't want to get the X break, but I just <laughs> I land up so many times, mm -hmm. and by that's it's just my go-to. Yeah. I know. I mean, if you have the mountain triangle, why why even fight the fight dog? Right? Yeah. Yes. I guess there's a, but you do have a point there. But I should. People are going uh, growing wise to it now. Now, especially if I've released this video. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. But but the good thing is, once you're in the mountain triangle, once you're in the mountain triangle, you can always go back to the armbar, right? Yeah, so, I mean, it, it, it always got man. That 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 was so cool. It, it's getting me really pumped up to train even more. Looking at all these killers like doing different combos, and uh, yeah, man, that was such an eye opener. Some of the stuff I, I I'm, I'm not even thinking about right now. You know, I I, I love Justin's uh, buggy choke. It was like um, well, the buggy uh, to try and go. I've seen the buggy choke before, right? You've seen high level. Yeah. And but. Aesthetically, for me, the buggy choke by itself is just it's this one move. It's like it's like nothing happened. It's powerful, but when he added the um, yeah, the triangle, the, the triangle. Yeah, yeah that was awesome. I'm just talking about aesthetic wise too. Right? I know, I know, but, <laughs> I know, I know. But, but yeah, but all the other stuff, wise, you know, from uh, from Rachel, right, from uh, Jazz, yeah, and uh, all those guys, Justin, uh, from uh, Jordan and Sensei, yeah, Sensei, all those, yeah, man, excellent, excellent moves. And I hope everybody learned something watching today's episode. And big yeah. shout out again. And a uh, big thanks for uh, Sensei Nabil for just giving us permission to film at Titan MMA. Uh, or so for giving us permission to film at Titan Training Center, 10 Planet Vancouver. And again, guys, um, please if you if you've enjoyed this show, uh, like and subscribe. It actually does help. Um, and comment below if you have any particular combos that you want to see and we'll try to make it happen. And if you live in a um, train out of Vancouver area, let me know if you want me to visit your gym. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah. The, only, the, the more gyms we visit, the better because Jiu Jitsu is such a you know, tight community with super cool, super awesome people. We would, we would love to meet everybody. And then see what like uh, what their approaches are too, know. right? Yeah. And then get some people on the YouTube. Cool. That's it. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Ah! See you guys next time.